Hello, my name is Devani, and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. This week, I will be doing the prerequisite 2023 luxury wish list. There's gonna be a little bit of outerwear, some ready to wear, some accessories, even, even some fragrance and shoes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting with my first item, a Burberry trench. And I think that I've mentioned this in a couple of past videos, but now I know exactly what I want. Um, I went into Burberry a couple days ago and tried on a few different options. And the one that I went with was the Waterloo um, trench coat in the honey color. Um, now the Waterloo is a little bit longer and I really liked it because it's more generously, generously cut like in the shoulders. Uh, I find that a lot of times when I wear coats, even if the coat mostly fits me when I go like this, like it's kind of tight. And so, you know, I don't know. I guess I got big arms or something, child. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Is that normal? <laughs> anyway, you know, I really liked it. It was comfortable. I tried it on with a denim jacket underneath just to get a feel for it and know that it'll work when I want to layer. Um, so I know exactly what size, what style now, what color. So I'm really excited. The only problem is that jacket retails for 2,490 American human dollars. That thing is expensive. It is so expensive. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna just like save up and get it. If I wanna see how, you know, tax season is coming up, you know, hopefully my job wanna, you know, cut me a little bonus. We'll see how that goes, you know. Uh, or maybe I'll even try to go to the outlet, you know, see if something cute is available there or even uh, the secondhand route. You know, I've been stalking on the real real to see if there's good options secondhand. Uh, so I don't know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but that is definitely on my wish list uh, for this year. And I would really like to get it before spring because I know spring is like prime trench coat season. So, but we'll see, no rush. I mean, you know, I already have enough coats in my wardrobe to hold me through, but that would definitely be a welcome addition to my wardrobe. Okay, so the next thing that I plan on adding to my uh, collection this year is the Celine Triumph belt. And I think I've mentioned that as well, but now again, I went in store in Celine a couple of days ago and I know exactly what size I want. Um, I want the medium size. Um, and it does come in the teen, the small, and the medium. And, but those other two really, they seem kind of, they're just too thin for my liking. Like if you want a cute, um, thin belt, then they have those options for you. Um, but the medium is really gonna do what I need it to do. And specifically, of course, I want it in the black. The black leather is beautiful. It's like kind of shiny, like in the logo that Celine Triumph has got me in a chokehold. Like it really does. Um, and so that I've decided that is definitely the belt that I'm gonna go with. Now the retail price for that is 670 dollars. I don't know why, but that's how much some people decided to charge people. Um, I think it went up recently, actually. I think it was like $5.90 a few months ago, and now it's like $6.70. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out for me. Um, I think I'm going to Europe sometime this year, though, and I know it retails for 490 euros over there. So I might try to pick it up during a trip this year. And I know that you get the 12% VAT tax back as well. So that would work out. So I, I'm, I'm going to try to hold out as long as I can. I really do need a black belt with uh, gold hardware. Um, but I'm going to really try to hold out because $670. Oof, that's, that's rough. I don't know, child. All right. <laughs> okay, so the next thing on my wish list this year is a pair of black leather pumps. Um, I had previously been interested in the Manolo Hang Heesies in the black leather and the 70 millimeter um, heel height. I'm not much of a heel girl, so I don't wanna go too high, um, but I've tried on the, the 70 millimeter height uh, and it just wasn't comfortable. It just still wasn't that comfortable. It's not that high, but it's still uncomfortable for me. Um, but I will say I tried it on in the satin material. It's really hard to find the leather for some reason in that heel height, so. I don't know, I guess maybe I could try to try it on somewhere else, I, but I don't think that's the shoe for me. I think maybe it's the way it's cut, it's just not for my feet. It just, I, we don't see eye to eye, it's, it's not for me, you know? So I think I'm gonna try maybe Jimmy Choo. I've heard they make very comfortable heels. Um, and then I also saw a really cute pair of Renee Calvilla, um pumps and they were basically a basic black pump but it had like crystals around the i don't know what the word is maybe the toe box but like going around the whole shoe um and that was just really cute i know renee cavilla also makes uh heels black heels with the little strap thing that goes around your leg and that is not what i'm looking for i'm looking for something way more simple that can go with like dresses or even with jeans to dress those up um so the ones that i saw will be a great option the only problem is those were in the sale 
over Christmas. And so I haven't been able to find those since. So I'm not sure if they even still make them. So that's uh, that's the bad news about that. But I will keep my eyes open. Um, and if anybody has any good uh, recommendations for a good pair of black pumps for a girl like me that does not wear heels, please leave those in the comments. Cause I really, if someone was to have a wedding, you know, any type of event where I feel like a, a boot, cause I have more than enough boots. But if, if anything where a boot would not do it, I want like more of a, a fancy, like a pump. I just, I can't go. I just couldn't go child. I have to be like, look, RSVP, no, cause I can't do it. I don't have the right shoes. <laughs> so please leave me some suggestions in the comments. Uh, the next thing on my list is Kate. Now, Kate specifically, uh, the brand I'm just in love with right now, but also there's a specific shirt. It's the Birdie Denim shirt. Um, it's like a long denim, you know, button up top. Uh, it has this beautiful like uh, triangle detail pocket on it. And it seems really simple, but that's the thing about Kate. Like Kate makes simple things with like little details that makes it cool, either the way it's cut. You know, they love making those cardigans with like the big cut um, arms which really works for me in my big old arms. <laughs> um, I have a denim jacket by Kate that I got on sale recently. And again, it's cropped and it has like the triangle detail pockets. I think that's like kind of like one of their, you know, signatures. And then it has these big cut arms. It's just, it's, it's just so cool. It's comfortable too. And it, it just something about Kate, like the way they make their knits, the way they make their denim, they just add these little details that just make it so special. I know, you know, again, they're making basics, but they just add these little special details. And that just, it doesn't justify the high price point. Okay. Kate is so expensive, it really is. Um, but it just, it just, I just really am in love. I think that's my favorite brand right now. I'm really excited about all the things that they're doing over there. Um, so I wanna get more into that brand. Uh, and they do go on sale. So that's definitely something, you know, I wait for sale season. I'm gonna, you know, make my little wish list and then check off everything once they enter the sale. So let's see how that goes for this year. Uh, the next thing on my list is a pair of Chanel sneakers. Uh, I'm not, this is like way down the line. I'm not in really a rush to get these. I just bought a pair of Fendi, the Fendi Flow sneakers um, in the black and like, pink color black and like it's like black and like buff i think i'll probably do i'll probably post like a short review of those on this page soon um so i'm not really in a rush to get the chanel sneakers but i do really want a pair i specifically want them in like maybe like a black white and gray colorway um i've seen them with like i don't know like that tweed detailing a little bit just i want something that looks like sporty of course because it's a sneaker but then has like that quintessential chanel detailing um so that's on my wish list. I'm, you know, down the line, down the line, but I got my eye open, you know. If anybody sees any Chanel, I know Chanel's been on sale, was on sale last month, so if, I don't think the sneakers make it to the sale, but if they do, let your girl know. I need to know. Okay, now the next thing is kind of like a wild card. Man, I was in Prada yesterday and I saw these crystal dad sandals. Now I know I did say that I think dad sandals are one of those things that will not age well in terms of trends, but I also said that I don't care and that has nothing to do with me because I am dad sandals for life. That's the life that I live right now, okay? And will always live. So when I saw these, they make them in like the traditional like white crystals, super glimmery and shiny, but if you want something like a little bit more like subtle, subtle for having crystals on your feet, um, they make also like black crystals. And I should have tried them on honestly because those shoes are everything. They look so comfortable, but then they also had crystals all over them. I think they retail for something crazy though, like maybe 1870 or something, just a stupid price child. I don't know where they get these numbers from, um, but man, they were so good, so good. And I haven't seen that much about them on the internet recently, so I don't know if they're new or maybe I'm just late. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I just, mm. Mm, love them, love them so much. Um, and then the next two items are um, fragrances. The first one I just got put on to recently when I went into Celine to look at the Triumph belt. And um, it is Celine Black Tie. And this, it was, it caught me by surprise because I didn't expect to really love it. Um, it retails for $2.55. It has like this like warm, uh, vanilla-y, ambery, like all these notes. Um, it's, it's very nice. It's very, very nice. If you like a, a warm, you know, kind of sweet, it's not too sweet though, you know, vanilla type of fragrance, it's not too sweet, check it out. I definitely recommend it if you haven't already. Um, 
I just really like it, you know? And now I'm like, damn, I gotta come up off of $255 now too? Like, damn, like, why did you have to smell the fragrances, girl? I don't know. Um, so, I don't know, black, Celine black tie, add it to your, you know, your things to check out, because I really liked it. Um, and the last thing was Killian Angel Share. Uh, I've smelled that fragrance in Sephora a while back, and then I bought a little sample. And now I'm coming to the end of it, and I'm like, mm, yep, you're gonna have to come buff some ducats because I need that full size. I really need it in my collection. Um, I have been really getting into fragrances over the past maybe six months or so, and I've been mixing uh, the Angel Share with uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, and I find that I really like how they come together. I'm not, I'm not an expert on fragrance at all, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I know if I like the way something smells, okay? And I really just like the creaminess of the Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, with the, for me, Killian Angel Share, like, I don't know, like, the thing that comes really forward on that fragrance for me when it's on my skin is like the cinnamon. And so the creaminess of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 with the cinnamon of Angel Share, it just really works for me. I think there it's a cute combo. So I've been having a really good time, but my sample is about to run out. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to find the full size. Um, but I'm looking for, you know, I need a little 15% off because that retails for $210. So I'm gonna need a little a little discount, girl. I'm gonna need to find that. <laughs> so anyway, that is my wish list for 2023. Um, tell me, what is on your wish list? You know, both luxury and otherwise. What are you excited about this year? I really wanna know, tell me in the comments. Um, I hope this was a lot of fun. If it was, maybe you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. You can also check me out at shortnotsweet.com as well as on TikTok, TikTok and Instagram at shortnotsweetdevany. Thank you so, so much for watching and please, please take care of yourself. Bye.